I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining us as we take a look at the seven day Pacific wide weather forecast. And we've changed things a little bit this week to make the video move along a little faster because there's not a lot going on. But in saying that, there are still a couple of storms in both hemispheres that are worth keeping a close eye on. The first one will be forming here around Vanuatu and New Caledonia. It's not showing up at the moment. The other one's around Japan and pushing up towards the Aleutian Islands. Certainly a few thunderstorms around at the moment, but no storm systems on the map here at the moment. It is just your usual easterly wind and a few thunderstorms. Let's take a look now at the next seven days. So this is what we're doing differently. We're animating the next seven days. You can see the timestamp down here in the, uh, in the corner and just add 12 hours for Fiji time. As you can see, there isn't a lot ha happening as we go through the next few days. Easterly winds are dominating. Now they're gonna be quite windy at times, especially in the zone around Norfolk Island up to about New Caledonia and pushing in here to Queensland area. Plenty of strong winds coming through for you. But look, as we go in towards the weekend, here we are at the weekend, this low pressure zone forming around Vanuatu is worth keeping an eye on. It produces some very heavy rain in the Vanuatu area, and it's not moving very quickly, held up by high pressure down here. But look what happens as we go into next week. It drags down this very humid weather, the red line dropping down. That shows the hot, humid air of the tropics coming down southwards. So that means all the Pacific Island nations here getting some hotter weather and some higher chances of wet weather as well. Now, as we go into next week, we've extended the video out a little bit beyond seven days to show you that it could come down here towards New Zealand. This is not yet locked in, I should point out, but this is what the GFS modeling out of America is showing us right through. This is actually going through till Friday of next week, so not seven days. We've gone beyond that just to show what might happen as it drops down to the New Zealand area. So very hot and humid for all of these places. It's only the Cook Islands, uh, really, that are outside of it. Let's take a look at the Northern Hemisphere now. Japan, storm number one, tracking by at the moment. Then we've got the next storm coming in for the weekend. It kind of forms over you with a very cold northerly blast producing snow and some strong winds. Then some frosty high pressure comes back through and we go into next week and your third storm system tracks on by. They are all moving through quite fast though in Japan at the moment, but certainly your winter weather, no sign of it disappearing just yet. Let's move over to North America and Hawaii. Not a lot of storm activity for most of the mainland. You've got those storms coming out of Japan though and up towards the Aleutian Islands, normally stormy in this part of the world. But it's uh, interesting to see around California, this conveyor belt of west to northwest winds driving in rainmakers, especially up here in Northern California, Oregon, Washington State, British Columbia. That's where you're seeing most of that wet weather. Fairly normal, um, but interesting to see some of that rain moving down towards Los Angeles. Not a huge amount though. And around Hawaii, also some wet weather around there for you. No big storms though coming through. So let's have a look at the seven day rainfall. And again, we've changed this. It's Southern Hemisphere and Northern Hemisphere. This is the Southern Hemisphere one for the most part. Uh, as you can see, the heaviest rain in blue is always surrounded by purple. So you can see here that low pressure zone brings up two, 300 millimeters or more of wet weather as it drifts past. So certainly a chance of very heavy rain around Vanuatu, New Caledonia, Fiji's on the edge of it though. But the good news is some of that wet weather comes down to Norfolk Island. Elsewhere, not looking too bad. Maybe some wet weather around Kiribati. Now, as we go into the Northern Hemisphere, not very much rain around Hawaii, uh, but maybe up to 50 millimeters or so on the big island, on the main island. Over in America, Northern California, getting up to that 100 to 150 millimeter mark. You'll have to Google that to find out what that is in inches. And for uh, British Columbia, back to usual weather. You can see over here in Japan, a fair bit of rain coming in. That's between 60 and 100 millimeters of rain, maybe a little more around Tokyo. And there we go. That is the next seven days around the Pacific. Hope you like the new format, just a little quicker and punchier. When we see a storm properly, though, we'll be able to focus on it a bit more. The cyclone season for the Southern Hemisphere comes to an end in about two months' time at the end of April. That is all from me. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next Tuesday with our next seven-day Pacific-wide forecast.